Welcome to yet another short video on how to use Designator's Rust Map Editor. Um, this, this tutorial is going to teach you some pretty basic things. We're going to touch on how to manipulate terrain and how to paint these colours in, which translate to textures in the game. We're also going to touch on layers, and we're only going to be working with two of the layers, one of the layers actually for this example, because everything else is a little bit more advanced. And we're going to keep it nice and simple and as short as possible. So, come over to Map.io, and we have some more buttons there that we didn't touch on last time. For this example, we want to come down to Layer Options. And here we can see, says, it says, Select Land Layer, and we're going to select Ground. But we'll, we'll have a look at them. We also have Biome, Alpha, and Topology. But we want to be on Ground. I'll get to those other ones a bit later because it's pretty complex. Cool, navigate back over to the uh, left hand side of the screen and we will have world. Click the little down arrow so it all pops down. Here we have water and land. So to manipulate the land, you want to select the land layer, obviously, otherwise the water gets all messed up and we don't want that. Now you want to come back over to the right hand side of the screen in the inspector tam panel and you want to look at these seven buttons here and we're going to be focusing on the first four. The first one of these buttons is the Paint Height tool, and as you can see, it's pretty powerful. It does some things. That was just by clicking um, to lower, you hold Shift, and it goes down. It's pretty simple stuff. Awesome. To make it less strong, or not as powerful, you can dial the opacity down, and it is less. Um, it can be still pretty overwhelming, so try not to move the mouse too much around the area you want to raise. If you just do it slowly, it'll gradually move it up, which is pretty simple. The next tool in this little bar over here we have is the Paint Height tool. Now this tool is extremely useful for getting flat areas where you may want them, or you wish to level out something that, or, you know, just anything. You want it underwater, you can select a height, dial it down to underwater level, and that is simple as keying in the value here and then painting it on or you can hold shift left click at a location that you like the height of and begin to paint and as you can see it creates a nice flat terrace or plateau I'm not too sure if there's a specific word for that underwater maybe a reef who knows and you can go around and it's really nice let's say you want it to be above water simply shift click the little area above water and paint it on. It won't paint over that, and yeah, it's pretty simple. Cool. Right, the next brush that we have is the smooth brush. Now, actually, we'll just bring in some little, we'll go back to the raise tool. So there are lots of brushes in the palette. Now, they obviously affect it, so if you look at the mask over the little yellow area here, I've got my opacity down, brush size big and I want to raise but it's only going to raise in those spots so you can add texture to your terrain by simply picking a, an odd looking brush and start making texture and the back to the third button on the list <laughs> so I should have touched, touched on that earlier is the smooth tool now you've created some lovely little spikies but they are too spiky for people to run up and we don't want that well you might not some people might who knows but once again, opacity controls the strength, size controls the size, and all we want to be doing is choosing a choosing a relatively soft smoothness level, just to just to casually bring it down a little bit, maybe a little bit more than four. And as you can see, it's a lot smoother where I was just painting than it is there. And this gets rid of those jarring sharp edges that you may find around the map. Cool, that's the smooth tool covered. And now we're going to just touch on a little bit of texture painting. This is just like any other program where you paint, like MS Paint, Photoshop, whatever. Pretty simple. We have the same array of brushes and now we have this palette of colours, but we do not know what they are. We can guess and assume, but purple, for example, is very odd. And, I mean, you wouldn't guess it, but it is forest, believe it or not. So, down the bottom in the middle of the screen, you have the console tab and you have the projects tab. Simply Navigate to Assets, it'll look like this, and you want to click on Resources, Textures, and then you want to learn, navigate to Ground. And inside here we have a lovely little panel with all of the colours laid out and their appropriate names. 
navigate up to the top left again and click on land and now we have reference for what we're doing and it is as simple as clicking on what you want and painting it it is really that easy there's i mean children can do this it's simple so and it looks great when when you start you can blend them you can go yellow and then we can go we can get some green in there that was pretty strong so once again we can dial the opacity down maybe bring the size down and you can get a nice blend and then in game that gradient sort of translates into a nice blend between sand and and grass it's, it's really nice so once again you can change brushes to get different effects with different blending options and you can really create like quite a masterpiece if you spend time and you know you can get some forest in amongst that and people really the, it's going to be amazing what people are going to be able to do but that is as simple as painting textures is within designated thrust map editor thank you very much